Yo, what the fuck is going on, guys? Welcome back to another. <clears throat> Fire! Fucking story time. Yes, sir. Just a quick little jump scare. Nothing to fucking make you go crazy, but. Hey, I'm happy to be here. I hope you're happy to be here. Let's get the fuck right into this shit. So. I threw it back to the for the one time. Okay, pause, pause. I'm not even gonna finish that sentence. I'm not even gonna finish that sentence. I'm not even gonna finish that sentence. <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't clip that shit. Um so yeah, uh I presented you guys with a story that was a big throwback in time. <laughs> so yeah, um Yeah, I threw it back and uh <laughs> Yeah, I threw it back way back, bro. Last video, alright? And uh, by way back, a couple of few years ago, you know how I always say, you know, who actually knows when it was? A couple of few years ago, shit, freshman year, somewhere, year, so, something felt like that, I don't know. Uh, drugs does that to you, you know, time goes crazy like that, I guess. Um, it doesn't really matter, it was a story, it happened like three, four years ago. Well, now I'm telling you guys a story that's happening right fucking now, man. Right now, before your eyes, and this one's gonna be real cool, because you'll, you'll see, bro, just wait till the end, bro, you'll see how cool it's gonna be, bro, just wait. Let's get the fuck right into it. So, the story takes place yesterday, or technically today. I say yesterday because I haven't gone to sleep yet. Let's be real. Let's get not. Let's not get technical. It's still today, but I don't know. It's it's ten thirty a.m. So it's 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 tomorrow, which is now today, which means that this story took place yesterday. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> like and subscribe. So, uh, yeah, this story takes place yesterday, and. It's with me and my boy Gus. Or not Gus, I'm tripping. Goob. Another G name, my bad. I meant to say Goob, it's just Gus came out. Like Another G name. Gus, Goob. Goob, Gus. Not the same people, not interchangeable. They're not the same people. So I'm with Goob, alright? Goob has been wanting to fucking trip, man. Goob's talking about tripping this, tripping that, tripping this. Which I also mentioned in a couple videos ago, talking about when he wanted to trip off shrooms. Like, bro, just trip already. You want to trip so bad? Just trip already, man. But I did tell him, hey, bro, you should wait for me to trip off acid with you. I was like, that's just a little more intense, which it is. Personally, that's what I think. So, oh, Alec, you're such a fucking weakling, pussy son of a bitch. Like, bro, you obviously like get no fucking bitches, bro. You can't even handle your tabs. Like, bro, I just think I, all I said was acid is more intense than shrooms. I didn't say all that. Like, all I said was acid is more intense than shrooms. That's my opinion. You don't like that dislike the video if, if it means that much to you so yeah bro that's all i feel and so i told him that and uh bro we've been like egging on doing this fucking acid trip for a minute bro like like literally like once a week we'd hit it, he'd hit me up like hey bro we doing the the acid tonight and i'm like um yeah bro let's do it and something would happen bro like really like i didn't mean to not bail on him i didn't mean to bail on him like something would happen sometimes he would bail on me even like i think like once but it is mostly me bailing on him and mostly because i worked mostly because i don't know the time wasn't right and i'm not gonna force a fucking acid trip that's not who i am that's not what acid trip should be can't be forced you know and so tonight bro we was gonna do it in the day like we planned today like i even like i was like oh yeah bro thursday day it's all get I'm, I'm all good for it like i'm all it and uh then here i go again bailing that's a neck sorry brother but you know it wasn't that bad because the Suns game was happening, bro. It's the playoffs, baby. I'm not missing that shit. And a lot of you guys haven't watched Click. And it really shows. Family comes first. My family invites me out to go watch the Suns game with them. Of course, I'm going to go watch the Suns game with them, man. But you know what I do? Hey, Goob, you're also invited, bro. Come with us, bro. Come watch it with us. He's down, but he's also with Jose. Jose, I guess it's just a him thing. Never wants to leave a mile within his house radius, so you know he's not down. <laughs> and so yeah, they they they're not they're not coming. Um, so yeah, I go watch the Suns game. I come back. You know, it was nice. It was fun. Not part of the story. Also, by the way, at the Suns game, there was like this fucking drunk bitch, bro, and she fell and like ate shit, bro. Like she's like drunk as fuck. Like we're walking out. Like we're like the last ones leaving. Shit, we're walking out of the the bar type shit. It's like this bar patio. We're walking out, she like falls and like lands on. My sister's soon to be like husband. And so like, I guess fiance is the technical term, right? 
And so, yeah, she lands on his, like, his legs, like, and shit. I'm like, we're helping to pick her up. Like, I pick up her makeup, hand it to her boyfriend. So I thought it was. Like, here you go, bro. Like, hand it to him. Bro, like, then she's, she's like, don't, don't fucking touch me. Like, she, like, th- hits the boyfriend with her bag. Like, oh, okay. Uh, let's, uh, uh, everybody walk away. Like, I grab my mom's hand. I'm like, let's go this way. Like, we're out of here. No longer here. And, like, we kind of, like, you know, kind of linger around to watch what's going on. And, uh, bro, she slaps the fucking shit out of him, bro. Slaps the fucking shit out of him, bro. I'm like, God damn, you are really fu- wow bro you were drunk as shit and second of all if i'm him i'm walking away he stayed and he like i don't know bro he, he still talked to them and shit i don't know none of our business but then as i'm fucking leaving you know me and my mother get in the car we drive away we still see them again we pass by them and we also see our purse like on the floor and so we're like hey let's do the right thing man this is what good people would do and so i'm getting ready to get out the car and get the purse and bring it to them but then we see like a cop and a girl walking over to us and they're like, yo, what's going on? And I, I peek my head out the window. I'm like, yo, so pretty much like she's drunk as hell. That's her purse. But I don't think, obviously, they realized they didn't leave it here. Uh, they're over in the parking garage. He's like, all right, thank you. Like, blah, blah, blah. Ask me a couple more questions. Doesn't matter. And then, yeah, that was it. I, I just felt like sharing my channel, my rules, bitch. So, um, yeah, anyways, that all happens. We come back home. It's like fucking 1130. By the time I finally tell Goob, hey, bro, I'm done taking a shit. Let's fucking link up. Bro, pulls through. Uh, Jose went to go hit the gym. So Goob pulls through, picks me up. And I even remember, bro. <laughs> I say I remember as if it didn't happen last night. So, yeah, uh, when he picked me up, I, <laughs> I, uh, I grabbed myself a fucking Nutella peanut butter sandwich. If you don't like a Nutella peanut butter sandwich. Then what do you like? Really? Like, this is a serious question. What do you like then? So, yeah, I make myself that because, I don't know, it's just like a spontaneous thing, I guess. I don't know. I wanted to eat something before I tripped. Munched on that on the way to his house. You know, we park up at his house and, like, we're like, all right, bet. Let's just walk. Because we don't really know what the fuck we're going to do. This is like one of those trips where, like, bro, let's just fucking wing this, bro. Fuck it. And so, yeah, we, uh, we definitely did that. We wing it. And, um... Pop the tabs, we do. We, we're chilling in front of his house, and I'm. I even asked him. I'm like, "Yo, bro, could I come into your crib and take a shit, bro? I got a few pebbles I gotta push out. That gets important in a sec." And so he's like, "Nah, bro, I'm, my parents are asleep. It's probably not for the best." Like, All right, your house, your rules. You're right. We pop the tabs, and he's like, "Hey, so Plugman says that who kn- like I guess Plugman was reliable because shit. I'm still tripping off that shit, bro. Um, I'm obviously on the way, calm down, but you know I'm." still awake i'm still awake and i'm telling a fucking story so shit definitely got me right um he says plug man gave him a 300 ug and uh 200 ug you know i'm like oh that's interesting i never heard of a plug give two different doses to the same deal but you know it's all good as long as i trip and that i did so our plan is me take the 300 him take the 200 he doesn't even remember which one's which he thinks the one he gave me is a 300. I think so too because, uh, bro, I hate this fucking guy, bro. Anytime I do shrooms with him, it's always, bro, I'm not even tripping, bro. Bro, I just want to trip harder. Bro, I want to trip. Bro, goob, I think you're searching the wrong thing, bro. You are not searching just a trip, like a fun little shroom trip or fun acid trip. That's not what it seems like anymore. Seems like you really want to find deep in yourself, man, and just really see some shit um yeah take more tabs bro you're, you're taking it too light you took one tab uh you know it's just a fun little trip not you're not supposed to fucking go through the time quantanium like interstellar and talk to your ghost and like bro like if you really want that take three or four tabs bro and i'm sorry but be careful what you wish for bro because i have been in those types of trips and yes You do learn a lot about yourself. That's where you learn the most about yourself. However, I am going to say again, be careful what you wish for, man. A lot of times, for most people, including myself at one trip, it's a little fucking overwhelming, and that's not what you asked for at the end of the day. It's like, oh, maybe this isn't what I wanted. So be careful what you ask for, man. I think that's what you're asking for, though. So at this this point, I I, want to be the one to tell you I told you so. (laughs) I want to be the one to be there and be like, hey, this is what you asked for, man. I'm still here to trip to you, though, because you're my boy. So, 
Um, yeah, let me know when that time comes. I'll definitely be down to be there. Um, so yeah, tabs are in the hatch, and we're walking. Walking back to my crib, which is, bro, me and Goob live across the street from each other. Like, not actually across the street, but actually across the street. Like, the main street, you cross the crosswalk, like, you press the button, wait, wait. Cross the button, and then you get to my house, and then you cross the button, and get to his house. It's like a fucking two-minute walk. Um, so we're on the way to my crib, because I want to release these pebbles on my ass. And, uh, yeah, we get there, and, like... I'm like, bro, I, I'm I'm kind of feeling the come up already, like, cause like we we fucking popped him, and it's been like 20 minutes. I'm like, bro, I'm kind of already feeling the come up, bro. I ain't gonna lie. And so I I walk in, take my shit, and during the shit, bro, I'm definitely coming up, bro. I'm definitely coming up. You feel it in your hands, bro. That fucking that tingle, that uh oh uh oh spaghettio. I'm about to fucking trip oh like uh oh, bro. And like I just feel that like that. No homo shit, like that glittery type of, like, visuals, like, that's not even homo, bro, glittery's not a homo word, fuck y'all, um, like, glittery, like, not glossy, glittery, like, sparkly, like, after effects on everything that I look at, like, every light is, like, glittery, sparkly, like, after effecty, like, fuck, man, like, just crazy, you know, and, um, <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> wow sorry i don't even know like what that was like i don't I just clear my throat i don't know i'm still kind of off at it so who knows what the fuck that was um so yeah i'm like coming up right then i hop out the fucking bathroom i go outside and, like i'm like thinking oh shit like bro's kind of been out here for like 15 minutes i take long shits so, my like, bro's kind of been out here for like 15 minutes oh shit i go out there he's just like standing on his phone i'm like bro how you feeling bro like i'm definitely coming up here we go here goes goob bro not not really nothing, bro. Like, I'm, I'm not even really tripping. Like, I feel it, but, like, I don't, like... Bro, just... Bro, you're... Like, you definitely are tripping, bro. Like, stop being stubborn. Like, just say you're tripping. Obviously, it's not the interstellar shit that you was looking for, like I said. Like, I think that's what you're looking for. But you're tripping, believe it or not. Um, Yeah, bro. Like, you... Oh, I'm not even tripping. I'm not... And so, I'm... All right, bro. And so, we start walking just... I don't know, out of instinct... To go see Jose at the gym. Like, we just started walking to the gym. That's the direction we started walking. Fuck it. Here we go. And on the way, I hit up little slutty Stacy. Um, look, I don't mean to call you slutty Stacy, but actions speak a whole lot louder than words. And, and, you know, maybe I'm jumping to conclusions with that statement, all right? So let me take back that statement. Let me take back that statement. You're not slutty Stacy. You're just Stacy right now. You could be slutty Stacy any minute. Any minute, and you're on thin ice. <laughs> um,. Yeah, I know what the situation is. Do you? <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't mean to just put Stacy on blast like this, but she also was the reason that a couple of nights ago that I drank all that Fireball. Which now, like two days in the future, dude, what the fuck? You are not that special. You know, I see some cool things in you, and you like I have fun around you, but to like get that sad over that quick? Come on, bro. I'm a fool. Bro, you a fool. Look at me. I'm chilling. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, th th that was also the point of the video was like during that time, I was really trying to learn how to feel. And I've really been doing that. Like, that's this is all a part of it. I'm, I'm very transparent with you guys on this YouTube channel. It, it's just me trying to learn how to feel without doing all these drugs. Now, I don't smoke weed anymore. I don't do any other drugs besides like acid and shrooms every now and then. And even then, it's like. I always like push it back, push it back, push it back. Cause like, I, I like being sober, bro. Believe it or not. I fucking love this shit, bro. Believe it or not. I know it sounds crazy. Um, I am off hazard. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, like pretty much y'all deserve an explanation about the Stacy situation. Like, like I mentioned in that video, we was just like a fling for a few weeks, which is what I'm calling it for now. It is a fling. Um, and yeah, like it felt cool. But maybe it wasn't as cool as I thought, you know? And I don't want to be the one jumping to conclusions, but like I said, actions do speak a whole lot louder than words. Maybe we'll talk about it, maybe we won't. It's not really my place to even talk to her about it, because she's not mine. <laughs> and I know the situation, so I'm happy with it. I'm happy with what it was. If it's over now, I'm going to move on. It was, it was cool. If it's not, I'm still down to fucking 
give you the good old Alec, the little Alec down there. So, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, shit. Um, I didn't want to say any other words because, you know, my kids out there watching, you know, want to be nice and fucking, uh, what's it called? Um, not too graphical. So, yeah, kids don't have sex. <laughs> nah, I have sex. It, it's pretty lit. Um, just, you know, maybe, maybe like, don't get your feelings all up involved, which is kind of hard to ask, but, um, sometimes it's cool when you don't. <laughs> Anyways, way off topic, bro. Sorry, fucking slutty Stacy. I'm not slutty. She's not slutty yet. Like I said, she's on thin ice. Stacy took, took my mind off that topic. I'm sorry, guys. But anyways, I also, you guys deserved an explanation on what the fuck Stacy even has to do with it. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. So, um, I hit her up as, like, we're walking. Cause, like, bro, I'm fucking horny, bro, and I'm off acid? Bro, I really want to know what it's like to fuck off acid. So, let's be real, that's why I hit up Stacy. I'm sorry, Stacy, if you're watching this, which you're probably not. I'm sorry, that was the actual reason I hit you up, like, that night. Like, I, I really wanted to fuck, like. And I, it was 420, which I forgot. And so I guess she's smoking with her friends and like, I'm like, all right, for sure. And she wanted to say some weird ass shit. It's like, um, all I said was for sure. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, she, she like tried to make it seem like, oh, I'm chasing her. Like, um, all I said was for sure. It's not like I said, no, what? Like, I just said FS. <laughs> all right. Um, calm your ass down. Um, like I said, she's on thin ice, man. Um, <laughs> Hey, let me stop talking about this shit. So, yeah, uh, that, that's not happening, which kind of sucks. I mean, I wanted to get a nut off because, you know, I'm off acid. Wanted to see what that felt like. Would have been cool. And maybe I would have been able to hash some things out with Stacy. Maybe I wouldn't be, uh, kind of, I'm kind of slandering her name. I'm sorry, Stacy. I'm slandering your name right now. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, like I said, actions do speak a whole lot louder than words. So I'm going to just leave it at that. Um, wow. I am still kind of tripping. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm just rambling, but shit, that's the point of this video. Let's keep talking. So yeah, me and Goob, we bro, we go to the gym and like we see Jose there. Like we're just like, I remember, bro, as we're pulling up to the gym, like the whole time we're walking, it's a it's like a trip talk, bro, like a real trip talk. Like I'm looking at the fucking trees, I'm looking at the stars. Like we're just asking each other questions. Like he's like, oh, what drugs have y'all done? Like what this? And I'm like seeing if he's tripping. I'm like, bro, so you was talking about quitting weed? Why do you think you want to do that? Like. I don't know, man. We're just talking and shit. I'm not going to go into the fucking conversation because it's like we're tripping fucking hard as shit. I'm tripping low key. He's, he wants to say he's not. You know, that's just what Goob does. He always wants to say he's not tripping no matter what. And uh, yeah, we, 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 we get to the gym. I'm wearing black jeans, black Air Forces. Walk in. The lights immediately, bro. Like, like I said, sparkly, like shiny, like stretched out lights. I'm like, dude, what the shit? Dude, like hella fucking shiny lights and shit. Um, yeah, I'm. I do not look like I'm here for a workout. <laughs> I do not look like I'm here for a workout. I'm in black jeans, black Air Forces. Anyways, I still pull up and I walk in. Um, and I make my way to Jose, and we start walking. And bro, Jose just looks like he's like low key like scared <laughs> for a second to see me. He's like, oh shit, what the fuck? Like, bro, this dude's in jeans backpack calvin klein air forces like what the fuck is going on dap him up say what's up um we talk a little bit and uh I'm, i say some shit like hey even though i'm off the acid don't don't ever forget who owns this gym and like, i go towards the bench i'm like hey bro spot me on this bench real quick i'm gonna see if i can max out i really do bro i put on the two plates my bro let me see if i can still hit this i used to be able to hit two plates for three when I weighed like 185, now I weigh like fucking 155 because all that fucking weed, bro. Fuck you. Um, we gonna get that back though. You know, I, that's what everyone always says. Oh, I used to weigh this, but I really did, man. And I got pictures to prove it. I got the effort to show, and uh, the time will tell, man. So that's all that matters. So, uh, I didn't hit the two plates. I I didn't even hit it for one. But like, bro, it, the rep was good, bro. Like I had it. I pushed up. I'm holding it there for a while. I hold it there, hold it there, hold it there. Almost going up. And it went back down. I almost had it. All right. I almost had it. So, you know, didn't happen, but it's okay. I go ahead, you know, try to hit that one rep. And um, that was cool. And let me think, like, 
after that, we just talk, and I don't want to just say what our conversations were, because it's like, that's kind of boring. It's like, they're not boring, but there are conversations to be had. My conversation now is telling you what happened. And what's happening is we're having this conversation, and during the conversation, I can't stop smiling, bro. And like, I'm just fucking tripping, dog. Like, bro, if you've ever tripped, bro, you know what I mean. Like, bro, like, I'm tripping to the point where like, it's hard for me to keep eye contact. Because like, it makes me feel more uncomfortable than it usually does. Like I'm, Normally, I'm super good with eye contact. Cause I'm very confident in myself. I know who I'm talking to. If I'm talking to you, I'm going to talk to you, not at you. But off the acid, I don't know, bro. Like uh, I don't know, bro. I guess I get kind of nervous. Uh-oh, I got the butterflies. Because, like, shit, bro, I can barely make eye contact with motherfuckers. Like, like bro, like, they clearly know I'm tripping off something. Like, bro, you off something, bro. And, um, yeah, we're just talking. And he's like, oh, hold on. Let's go outside real quick. Wait, bro, what? Outside. Uh, I'm tripping. So I'm like, bro, what? Like, I'm thinking he's about, like, Jose is about to take me outside and stab me or something. I'm like, bro, what? what? He's like, bro, outside. And then he points at the door, like, to the back. I forgot there's a little outside workout area. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. Like, it took me a second to process. I'm like, oh, shit. And so we go out there. It's nice, bro. It's peaceful. The first thing I noticed, first thing I kept saying, bro, the birds the birds but there was birds chirping I'm, I'm just trying to picture the birds chirping now here give it a second it was beautiful so yeah uh, i lay down on the bench and like we're talking and during the conversation goob is like bro i'm, I'm just not tripping and I, I i'm laying on a bench flat at this point right and i'm looking up at the ceiling because i'm tripping all right i'm i'll full admit it i'm tripping i'm laying on the bench flat in jeans and forces looking at the ceiling talking to someone lifting and he's like bro i'm not even tripping i look to the left <laughs> goob is like <laughs> sitting on the squat rack barbell with his arms like above the pull-up rack like so he's like monkey barring sitting on all top of this shit like, bro you're definitely tripping bro look at you and like, we're all weak as fuck like bro what are you talking about bro you're tripping and of course you know what would it what would acid trip be without other trip fucking random drug addicts walking by us you know, like we're in like a caged area, so of course they can't touch us, thank God. But um they walk by, like, what are you guys doing? Like as we're having this conversation. It's like these like real okay, those are real fucking crackheads. It's like G- Jose even threw out he's like that they're just doing what y'all doing, just fucking around at night, except they they ain't doing no acid. I'm like, Oh yeah, bro, that's that ain't no acid, bro. They ain't tripping. They they tweaking. <laughs> they ain't tripping, they tweaking. And so yeah, they tweak they tweak their way along, like, what the hell are you guys doing? Like they just see goob ass monkey barn on the fucking squat racks, like sitting on the squat racks. Somehow he got up there. I, bro, I, bro was like a fucking monkey. Just monkeying around, man. Uh, what are y'all doing? Oh, we're just monkeying around. Just off the acid. <laughs> and um, yeah, goob's up there. Uh, just horsing around, man. Just on the monkey bars, I guess, is what he made it. And um, yeah, Jose's in his reps. And like, I remember, <laughs> this was funny as fuck. I had Jose's headphones on my chest. I'm like, bro, you don't want some music or something I'm, like, I'm passing it to him he's like nah bro he hits a set <clears throat> <clears throat> sets the weights down that's my music just a fucking pain <laughs> bro Jose, you're one of the funniest motherfuckers i ever talked to bro so yeah he does that he goes inside me and goober talking i hit him with like one of the meanest life quotes of all time you'll catch it on my main channel that's how good it was i'm gonna make it into a video it's the title of the video is how good that quote was Bro, I'd be having life-changing quotes off acid, bro. Beautiful shit. And so, uh, yeah. Check my main channel by the time. By the, by, the, by, the, by, the, by the way, you'll see that in time. Um, and so, yeah, bro, like, that is that. And I'm like, hey, Goob. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't want to go back inside because them lights is a lot for me, bro. Like, like when I was in there, bro, like, it kind of just makes my chest feel, like, pressed. Like, bro, because I am tripping, bro. I want to be outside. I want to be outdoors. Like, bro, a gym and that shitty... That shitty ass music, bro. That's not good for a trip, bro. And the lights are so bright on the ceiling. It's like, bro, this is not what I want to be doing. So we're not in there for much longer. We talk to Jose just for a little bit more. And we tell him, hey, bro, we're going to walk our asses back. If you see us on the, along the way, because I know you're hitting your workout. And like, bro, Goob was like, I don't want to say bothering him, but kind of bothering him, like bothering him. And I can tell. It's like, all right, bro, let's get up out of here, bro. Like we're interrupting his workout. Like he, he wants to work out, bro. Like he's working out. Like, bro, like we're just bothering him at this point. So let's get up out of here, bro. Uh, Jose, hopefully, uh, 
we made the right call, bro. I don't, I don't mean to interrupt your workout and bother you like that, bro. That was kind of lame of us to do. But um, yeah, we we dip on out of there, and um, yeah, we just start walking again, and you know, things take us to the Henny. What the fuck? So yeah, we're walking, and we're close to my house, bro. And shit. I've, I, along the way, I mentioned, oh, I, I just got, like, be careful, I got a bottle of Henny in my bag, because we talked about ops, like, I always joke about ops, and we faked about running away, and, like, along the way, I mentioned, oh, bro, be careful, I got a bottle of Henny in my bag, hey, don't know how that got brought up, whoopsie, the Henny's out, hey, let's get off the side of the road real quick, like, bro, you down to just take a shot of Henny? He's like, bro, I'm actually down, because bro just wants to trip, like, he wants to trip so bad, bro, it's like, dude, you're tripping, it's just, this isn't, this isn't what, this ain't what you want, this ain't what you want. So we we bro, we're tripping by the way. Pull up on the side of the road. I pull out the henny. Ah, I just want to chill. So hey, bottoms up. <laughs> word for word, I tell him, hey, one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Ah, <laughs> henny. Bro, Henny's my favorite drink, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I'm I don't drink much, but if I drink, it's gotta be the Henny, bro. Hey, if there ain't no Henny, there ain't no me. Um, and so yeah, like, bro, we take a couple shots of that shit, and like, we also did it because I'm telling him, like, bro, I've never done this before. Like, I kind of want to do this for the first time. I've never done this, and he was like, bro, really? Like, I guess that was a shock to him. Like, oh shit, Alex never fucking drank off the acid. What the shit? I'm telling him, like, look, bro, you know me. I'm all about experiences. Life is about experiences. I'm willing to go where no man is willing to go and drink the Henny while off the acid. And of course, knowing me, I put this out there as well. I say the words to Goob. Am I even Alec Lopez if I do a drug and don't throw up? No. So of course, after I take the shots of Henny and we sip them up, I immediately throw up. We start walking again. Immediately, I'm like, oh, yep, here it is. (laughs) <laughs> like just clean right out full nothing i'm like oh thank god that was that clean like it burned because damn that was just straight hennessy straight out of me but ow because like my stomach's thinking um why'd you put me here what the fuck are you doing so yeah straight out of me straight hennessy we walk back and um that's pretty much the trip man because we go back to the stop sign where our houses disconnect and we're like hey bro i think this is it man <laughs> dap him up i go back home and bro all night i've just been listening to music editing videos my mother only just now left so i can start being loud and tell this story i'm still tripping bro from last night it's fucking 11 a.m yeah yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this story man yes sir damn 28 minutes am i gonna retell this holy shit that's a long story anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video man maybe you got something out of it maybe if you stayed this long comment gooch leave a like subscribe it really does help me out. I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching my shit. Love you guys. Have a great rest of your day, night, whenever you're watching. Bye. If you like, subscribe, you bitch!